What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. That's what we're doing right now. Episodes 5 and 6 is here today and I am ready to watch this. Um, last episode, pretty disturbing episode man. That episode 4, pretty disturbing episode. This dude, this alchemist um transmuted his daughter and the dog together man pretty dark stuff pretty dark stuff and then he was laughing about it like oh this is the evolution man had no love for his own family member his one and only daughter and he did it to to his wife too you know what i mean like psh, pretty dark stuff you can see um a lot of people said in the comment section one of the darkest episodes to this day in anime and I agree is one of the darkest episodes I've ever seen in anime you know um, it's definitely up there as in moments not to be effed with <laughs> you know so um, in terms of certain things you know when it comes on to to anime and stuff like that I like when they go that far you know and I can see that in this anime this anime is more story driven than anything else and that's why i pay attention um to what it's about what it is trying to portray and it's trying to portray a lot of things that a lot of people might not agree with yes we know alchemy and pulling stuff out of mid-air and doing creating you know ice giants and philosopher's stone and all this stuff doesn't really exist in real life but you can still draw a lot of parallels from this anime to take with you through life as in meaningful things and insightful things so i'm definitely looking forward to seeing more of that that is it for my intro thank you guys for tuning in if you want to see more of these reactions make sure you hit that like button okay i don't you know check out the content first before you subscribe but if you like it don't forget to, to hit that like button. Let's go watch the episode, and I'll be right back here for the review. Okay, so that was episodes 5 and 6 of Full Metal Alchemist. For some reason lately, I can't get my camera to stay. It keeps color correcting. Two very wholesome episodes. Scar went after Edward because he's out here. We found out that he's in his boss. So we, so we've, we find out quite a lot in episode five. Quite a lot. You know, especially the fact, the, the things about Scar, that he's out for revenge. That's the reason why he wants to kill all the state alchemists because they have this belief in the one true God right that's the driving force behind what he's doing but also you know it's very revenge based maybe you know a lot of you know he's doing revenge but he has this using god you know quote unquote as an excuse to kill people like and that's why i was like but bruh if you're killing people because they're alchemists because they're going against the true nature god is the, supposed to be the only creator blah 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 you are an alchemist and you're using alchemists to kill people. So are you planning? He probably is planning to kill himself after he eliminate everybody he needs to eliminate. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Um, Him being used, saying he's being used as an instrument. So what happens when that is done? He's probably planning to kill himself. Um, So. So, yeah that part of it was pretty was pretty cool to see in episode five and episode six they went to visit went back home so he could so they could fix what scar did to edward and alphonse right so that was pretty cool to see that he couldn't go up against scar scar is just that good so we finally see him go up against somebody that even in his even in the confrontation he still didn't stand a chance. And then you have the colonel, right? You have the colonel that is out here trying <laughs> trying to use his alchemy in the rain. And he knows he's a flame alchemist. I'm like, you forgot. I'm like, that's why I was like, huh? You you 
can't do anything. What are you doing? <laughs> you know, because we learned that, I think, back in, I think it was episode two, we learned that about him, um, that he can't, it's either episode one or two, that we learned that about the colonel, right? So, that was pretty cool to see also. As I said, man, this anime is very wholesome. These are very good episodes building up to something. But the most interesting part of this anime that is yet to be revealed, and I like the buildup that they're doing for it, is these um, other people. These and, and there's another one that just joined them, you know, Envy, right? We got Gluttony. I'm not sure what the girl is, but I'm guessing that she's one of the... The deadly sins also because we already got gluttony we got envy right so we'll see how that go we'll see how that go it's interesting how they're building them up as villains obviously now that i know they're not human so what are they you get what i'm saying they're shaped like humans they move like humans they look like humans um but i mean other than gluttony you know what I'm saying? Like eating people. I mean, that's cannibalism. So that's not so far fresh from humans eating humans. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was thinking that they were humans before, but they're not. They're actually. I don't know. <laughs> that's the thing. Like, I don't I have no clue. They they talk as if they're not human. They're talking. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not human. So. That's interesting. That's the most mysterious part and most interesting part to me about this anime so far is that they're building up these people, obviously, as villains, you know, but we're not really seeing them get into the fight. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're just manipulating things from behind the scenes. So I guess we're going to get to see more of them later. Um, maybe we'll maybe there's so much more of them. You know, I want to know if they're not human. What are they? Who created them? All of this good stuff. So, um, Edward is on his way to Central, as they say, to get this research from this doctor. Well, not to get the research from the doctor, but the doctor sent them where he did the research um, during the war because they had him researching the Philosopher's Stone and stuff like that. So, now we found out a little bit more about the Philosopher's Stone, too, about it not being an actual stone. It's, it's liquid form. So it could be, there's so many different names for the Philosopher's Stone too. We learned that. So that was pretty cool also. So there's a lot here. To, there was a lot to take in these two episodes. It's, it's very lore heavy, this, this anime. So I'm looking forward to learning more about this verse, about this world of alchemy that they live in. And also weighing that against humanity. You know what I'm saying? Because that's really what I think this anime is about. Is like Wayne, basically, because, you know, when we watch certain things, when we watch TV shows, movies, anime or whatever, and we see all these superpowers, you know what I'm saying? And we kind of look at it and be like, OK, that's that verse. You get what I'm saying? That that's their universe that they're living, that they're living in, you know, um, and that and that's how we take it. You know, but a lot of times, you know, like, say, Code Geass and, and these animes that really let you think, like, suppose this stuff, you know, you're weighing that, you're weighing those kind of things that's happening there against humanity itself. Because humans are, are you, you obviously have regular humans in these shows that don't have these powers. So it's like, what if, you know... And other than that, not only what if, but also, you know, just looking at it from things from their perspective versus what we live in and understand that it's still relatable. So that's what's cool about it. That's what I love about it. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, leave a like on the video, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you knew there's more full metal to come. I love you guys so much, man. You have no idea. And I thank you guys. Have lots of gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate all the love that you guys show on these videos, man. Thank you guys so much. Um, if things are looking up for us here where I live. It seems like they're planning to reopen some stuff um, by the end of this month. So things might change because I have to go and get things up and ready i will be putting out a video talking about that because i got some great news today so 
Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.